Good afternoon. This is Eitan Shalom at the Body Mind Wellness Center. And I just wanted to show you the Tibetan blue barley uh, soup that I've made today. Now you might wonder why would you have soup uh, in the middle of the summer on the hot day? Well, actually soup's really great in the summer and I'll tell you why. And barley in particular is good. Now I'm, I'm making a second video that's going to give you all of the uh, info on both uh, on barley um, from both the Ayurvedic and scientific perspective. So right now all I'm going to say is that barley, first of all, is very high in fiber. And some people will tend to get constipated in the summer from the heat because they de get dehydrated and they don't drink enough. So number one, soup is great in the summer because you replenish fluids. It's very traditional actually in Chinese medicine and in Korean culture to have soup, even chicken soup in the summer, uh, chicken soup with um, ginseng because ginseng uh, nourishes the fluids and chicken uh, restores uh, the energy that's lost by sweating, um, which is why you also have chicken soup after a fever. But this is a vegan uh, barley soup. And let's get, go back to barley. So barley is very high in water soluble fiber. So it's very good for digestion and constipation and it has a cholesterol lowering effect. Barley is also very cooling. And of course, one of the things that we do in summer is we try to balance the predominant dosha, which is pitta dosha or fire in Ayurveda. And even without knowing anything about Ayurveda, it's just common sense to cool, do more, eat more cooling foods in the uh, summer, which is why we all love watermelon. And in fact, a lot of the seasonal foods that are available are in fact cooling. And um, so that's barley is cooling and it's also very rich in fiber and easy to, easy to digest. So uh, I, I'm having barley soup because I like it. And uh, in general, barley has a cooling effect. That's the important thing to know. And I'll get into more details on the medical side in my next video. This is the cooking side. So my soup is already finished. Uh, this is my soup. I should have a spoon. And so what I did was I washed, I soaked the barley really well. I'm gonna show you the barley. Um, this is the brand that I got. You can get whatever brand you want. Um, and I'm drying some tangerine peels on my kitchen counter. Um, so this is the blue barley and the Tibetan blue barley. I don't really know much about it. I just wanted to try it. I know that it grows at high altitude and all of that kind of thing. And I do like uh, using foods that are blue, get my blue color uh, when I can. Um, and um, so the thing is, I treat it the same way I treat lentils. I soaked it in water for some hours. Uh, I then washed it really thoroughly so that the water, the wash water was completely clear. And then I boiled it with onion, garlic, celery, carrot. So that's the basis of the flavor. Onion, garlic, celery, carrot, not a ton of garlic, some garlic, celery, carrot, and parsley. Those were all fresh vegetables that I diced up. So onion, garlic, celery, carrot and parsley. And then I added some Indian bay leaf, Indian bay leaf, which is similar to Western bay leaf. It's a slightly different fragrance. I was just in the mood for Indian bay leaf is, is all. And, um, and then of course, salt and black pepper, although white pepper is also very nice in this kind of soup. Uh, a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of herbs of Provence. This particular blend of herbs of Provence is from, and Provence is an area in the south of France. Uh, and this particular one is from Trader Joe's and it has thyme, marjoram, savory, rosemary, basil, sage, and lavender. Uh, every mixture of the herbs of Provence are di is different. And um, so that's it. And uh, I boiled it for, I'd say about an hour and a half maybe. Um, I boiled the barley for a while before adding the vegetables. And as I, I'm drawing a tangerine peel here for medical purposes, but I, I did think that a little bit of, tiny bit of orange peel or tangerine peel would actually be quite nice in this um, because it doesn't have anything sour in it. 
And you know, that sour flavor helps us with digestion. So some people would add some kind of hot sauce on it. Um, and then you also could cook it with tomato and that would give a bit of the sour flavor. But I think I'm gonna actually dice up a little bit of that dried tangerine peel. These are organic tangerines, tangerines that I've eaten and I've dried out the peel. And I'm actually gonna, it would be better cooked in, but I'm just gonna maybe like grate a little bit on a grater, uh, like what they call orange zest. Give it a little bit of zest. So that's my soup and that's my lunch. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, uh, just make comments in the comments and I'll answer your questions. But that's a very nice, easy to, easy to digest barley soup. Thank you so much.